What's up, guys? It's your girl, Sarah Alchemist. Welcome to my channel. Shout out to all my alchemists out there and a lovely big welcome to all new here. Also, shout out to all my new subscribers too, guys. Your likes, shares, and subscribes are truly appreciated. So, my alchemist, the energy has been cleared for this reading. I do ask that you please do your due diligence. Take the messages and the energy that closely resonate to you and your situation and leave what doesn't at Hell's Gates. Okay, my alchemist, and don't forget, we stay cute, speak the truth, and transmute all negative energy. Ashe. What's up, guys? I hope you're having a blessed and fantastic day. All right, let's see what we got going on in this energy alchemist. The spirit will need to know and will be aware of at this time. Okay. Thank you, spirit. All right, alchemist. So we got Carmiko and Carmika. So this could be a couple here. Wow, we got sex magic. So a couple that's involved in sex magic here. We've got an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be an air sign or this Carmiko and Carmika could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh. We've got the Joker out here, Alchemist, and keep him tabbed. Oh, lordy lord. <laughs> wow. Let's see what we've got going on here in this energy alchemist. So I recently did a live, guys, about a karmic couple that was keeping tabs on someone. This could be the same energy. Someone watching you behind the scenes here, trying to attack you sex magic so these could be a couple that does sex rituals here together people who are trying to sexually siphon your energy in some type of way you got revoked at the back of the deck here from this mm. all right let's see what we got going on here in this energy alchemist energy. What's in the energy here, please, Spirit? Wow. Okay. We've got authority and power here, Alchemist. I feel like this is someone here who's trying to have a lot of authority and power over you, over your energy. We've got harvesting of rewards. So I'm picking up here with this sex magic, sex, sex rituals. This is something that these individuals do here to harvest rewards off other people by siphoning their energy. All right, we've got healing here, Alchemist. All right, you could be healing from some type of recent attack. And we've got abundance. Someone trying to steal your energy here so that they can receive some type of abundance. Someone keeping tabs on you to see if you're taking some type of loss here. We got Horus at the back of the deck here, Alchemist Strength, Celebration and Merriment. I'm picking up the energy here of someone knowing that you're about to be celebrating something. Someone here knowing that you're abundant. So them trying to attach themselves to you in some type of way. Give me some more energy here, please, sir. Yeah, we've got sowing seeds here, Alchemist. Sowing seeds of abundance. Abundance. Someone here sees that you're sowing seeds of abundance here. Someone trying to invade your harvest so that they can harvest your rewards, conflict and war. Someone trying to create a lot of conflict here for you so that they can steal something, steal your harvest here. So this could be why someone here is keeping tabs on you. Just split the deck there, Alchemist, on destruction of chaos. So someone's definitely, yeah, wow. Split the deck there on destruction of enemies. So I feel like, Alchemist, there's something that you've been working really hard on here that someone's trying to put their hand in to take by siphoning your energy here to reap rewards of your harvest that's coming in for you now. As we enter full here as well, 
something happening in four. Ace of Wands at the back of the deck here. After this new beginning, it's good news ahead. Someone trying to attach themselves here to you so that they can receive your new beginnings or be a part of your new beginning in some type of way. So I'm really picking up some type of energy transfer here. Energy swap with this sex magic. We've got the sun there, alchemist. Something here being illuminated. Thank you, spirit. Ace of Cups out here in reverse, alchemist. Something here being blocked. Sadness and pain. And yeah, we've got the moon card. Six of Swords out here in reverse, trouble coming out. I feel like whoever this individual is or this couple is, they've been caught here spiritually, siphoning your energy. I feel like this is you and this energy here of healing, your ancestors being around you, protecting you, protecting your abundance. And they see someone who's been creeping around in your energy, taking bits and pieces of your energy so they can use this for their own. And then feeling a big rage towards this because it's almost like, how dare you? You're not doing the healing work that this individual is doing. You're just trying to take from someone else here so that you can have this person's abundance. And this abundance directly coming from your ancestors. So your ancestors are definitely not having this. With this moon here, Alchemist, Spirit's asking for you to trust your intuition. So for some of you guys, you may have been feeling a lot of sexual energy around you. Someone projecting a lot of lustful energy to you here. For others of you, you may be or have had vivid dreams here of people trying to have their way with you here sexually. So someone basically spiritually assaulting you here sexually assaulting you in the dream state and this person doing this on a consistent basis is what i'm picking up here yeah five of cups on the split deck sadness loss grief and despair this person's consistently taking from you someone's about to lose a lot here behind their actions this person being blocked here out of your energy give us some energy here please spirit thank you we got the Hermit card, Eight of Pentacles out here in reverse, Star card out here in reverse. Someone here in debt. I kind of tapped into this in the last reading here, Alchemist. Someone trying to use your energy here to pay off some type of debts that they're going through. Patience being needed here with this Hermit card. Someone being in a lot of despair here. So I definitely feel like whoever this individual is, this is someone who's overburdened. This is someone who's struggling with their finances. Things not looking right for this individual. So this person trying to project that energy onto you so things don't look right for you. But you already stand in this abundant energy, healing the alchemist. So some of you are a healer. You're consistently healing. Give me some energy here, please, Spirit. Five of Cups out there in reverse, Alchemist. Healing. Moving forward here and rejoining the world. I feel like someone's trying to put you here in this star energy. You feeling burdened. You feeling in despair. But this is projected energy. Three of Swords out here in reverse, Alchemist. The worst is over. Five of Pentacles. This person's about to lose a lot here behind their actions. Can you see energy with these spirits? We got the Wheel of Fortune here, Alchemist. This is your abundance, a fated event. Cycles of life, you cannot step into the same river twice. Give me some more energy here, please, Spirit, on the Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Cups, sorry, Nine of Pentacles out here in reverse. Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of swords out there on the floor in reverse I can miss one second greed someone who's who someone who is too hasty and makes mistakes so I feel like whoever this individual or these individuals are they felt like they weren't going to be seen or caught for what they were doing with this five of cups here, guys, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's like the person's wearing some type of cloak there. 
So when they're sexually siphoning, your, si sexually siphoning your energy in the dream state, these people could be cloaking themselves, disguising themselves, shape-shifting themselves here so that you don't see or pick up on who they are, but them still forcefully trying to have their way with you here and they're still being seen. They've still left an energetic footprint of what they have been doing. Yeah. You cannot step into the same river twice, a fated event. These people being caught here for what they've been doing to you. We got the lovers card out here, um, Alchemist. I can't even make up. Carmico and Carmica. So this is a couple. So, oh, you know, this is some explicit shit, yo. We got the magician card out here, Rava. Something here is definitely being blocked. It's kind of, I'm kind of like seeing these individuals here doing it with themselves doing it with each other and they're like vigorously thinking about you here but manifesting very dark things for you and to you whilst trying to extract your energy so i feel like when they're doing it with each other they're visualizing themselves doing it with you and this is how these people have been forcefully tapping into your energy here Uh, I can't even make up alchemist. Two of cups, partnerships. Two people working together here for the same cause. Magician out here in reverse. These people are sick, bro. Give me some more energy here, please. For that. Alchemist. We got the hangman. Definitely a sacrifice here. Or someone trying to sacrifice your energy. Let me pull this a bit back. Someone trying to sacrifice you here. Sacrifice your energy. Someone trying to have you binded here. These people are really sick, bro. On the Harvest of Rewards cards here, Alchemist, we have the two spirits. On the abundance card here, we have the two souls. So, this has to be someone here that you had, had to connect or did connect with sexually at some point, is really what I'm getting here, Alchemist. You connecting with this individual. So some of you, I'm picking up this person here could be married, or with this Kamiko and Kamika, this could be um, someone here who's in a relationship with someone else here. Someone here working with another individual here. So an ex-lover or an ex-spouse or some of you. Hmm. It's like someone, two individuals trying to switch your energy for theirs here or transfer their energy here onto you through sexual means and i say this has to be someone you are close to because i feel like in order for these people to be doing what they're doing they need to have something of yours with them spur work being involved in this so this could be an item of clothing here some form of jewelry Someone has something called yours, or this could even be a picture. Okay, spirit saying this is a picture here, Alchemist. These people have a picture of you here nearby as they're doing what they're doing. What the fuck? Eight of Cups here, Alchemist. Abandonment walking away, looking for the truth. Magician card out here, reverse. Hmm. someone's reached their limit here and I feel like this is you and this is your ancestors here reaching your limit with these individuals here consistently playing about in your energy ten of pentacles here alchemist yeah it's like these people truly believe if they siphon sexually siphon your energy through their rituals here that they're going to be able to receive this ten of pentacles they're going to be able to receive this abundance that's coming to you or is you it's like that, I don't know what the fuck you know. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, this is crazy. It's like, these people think 
I don't know, just like some ATM or something. Like they can just, you know, go and take something from your name and get some something back from it. This is some sick shit. What the fuck is this? So now you know the motherfucking comics. <laughs> it's how you know the motherfucking comics. Only dumb motherfuckers think of crafty shit like this. Because why? You really ain't got no life. No, this is all sick shit. Someone here trying to pay off a debt to your alchemist by using the divine being's energy. <sighs> yeah, these people been seen. Wild card is the end of a cycle. A fated event. Six of Pentacles out here in reverse alchemist. Someone here is a major debt. All the pentacles aligning. Someone's greed here catching up to them. What the hell? Yeah, Seven of Cups here, Alchemist. I feel like this is someone who's been doing this many different times. This sex magic, this sex ritual, this is something this individual, these individuals have been doing many different times here. And they're no longer seeing any results of this. They're actually losing. Every time they try and take something from you, they actually lose a lot from themselves. Yeah. we got the Chariot Alchemist, that's right, overcoming obstacles. Nine, nine of Swords out there, reverse light at the end of the tunnel. You being patient through this here, guys. And I know, guys, for those of you who have been dealing with people playing in your dream state and basically sexually violating you, I know exactly how hard it, it has been, guys. Trust me. I'm going to keep it real, Alchemist. I had a little vulnerable moment about two nights ago. Like I, I had words with God in spirit. And then not in a rude way, but like I had to let God know exactly how I was feeling about this. Because, you know, we can lie all we want, but we can't lie to God. It's always best to speak your heart and speak your truth. So if you know you feel some type of way about something, don't, you know, try and hold that optimism. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. you got to be real and be honest, you know, because I had to straight up be like to God. The other day, you know, how can you just be there and watch what these people are fucking doing to me? And, you know, you're not doing anything. This is really fucking me up. I'm trying so hard to be a better person. I'm trying so hard to heal from everything. But you keep letting this happen to me. I'm not going to lie, guys. That's how I was speaking. I was, I was bawling because I was like, come on, God. <laughs> I'm doing everything you're asking me to. I'm trying my best. Why can't you stop these people from doing what they're doing? Like... It's just so fucked up every, almost every other night being awoken in your dream state because you've got people literally, well, sexually violating you by force. It's, it's really, it's sickening. Like, you know, in a way, when I was talking to God, I said to him, like, I don't know, I don't know why I was putting so much blame on, on God then. I feel like because I was just in a mess. So I feel like I needed someone to vent out and release it onto. So I said, like, God, you're making me feel very powerless right now. Because if I am truly powerful, like you tell me that I am, why am I not able to stop these people from doing what they're doing? You know, what's going on? And I kept just kept saying that to him, like, what is going on? What do you want me to do? What else am I supposed to do? Well, why does this keep happening? And, you know, at first I thought, I was looking at it like punishment. And, you know, like, you know, I, haven't, I didn't have a dad yet, guys, but, you know, like, when you get told off by your father or your father tries to tell you something and wants you to look at something from a higher perspective and you're not really trying to hear it, so you stomp off. So I was in that type of mood, like, I, you know, fuck it. I didn't want to hear nothing. Don't even say nothing to me. You know, fuck it then. It's my life now. That's what I, <laughs> I, I was sobbing, you I was sobbing. I was like, just having a real moky moment because I'm thinking, this is so hard, healing from this and then, a lot of us are healing from childhood abuse and things that happened in our childhood and then the same people who abused us in our childhood are the same ones doing all that fucked up shit now and even random people you don't even know ex-lovers from eons of years ago here who are refusing to let go of your energy still doing all this fuck shit it really it really does do something to your mind and a piece of you makes you feel a bit powerless because like you have all these people tugging and pulling on your energy here. It really does at some point make you feel powerless, but you know, God let me have my moment. And that's why I fucks with the divine, y'all. He let me have my moment. And I, you know, I, I vented and I let it out and I was like, yeah, you know, what the fuck is this and all that shit. And about after an hour, because I didn't go back to sleep because I was thinking, you know, 
they've been at this for about fucking two weeks now i've been counting these attacks that they've been doing this and been happening in like two week intervals so i feel like what i've been feeling specifically this week and last week is a result of something they did around the new moon and the full moon would be tomorrow so definitely like spirit pre-warning me that this is what's been happening is, is these rituals that these individuals here have been doing to sexually cipher my energy and they've been doing this for a while now and whereas i'm more awakened to it my dreams are more vivid and i see these people even as they're shape-shifting it there's whatever they've shape-shifted as only lasts like a few seconds of what i see is actually them so the cloak that they're trying to put on them isn't even as strong as it is my intuition is more heightened but i still feel powerless in the way like why can't i stop it from happening how are these people able able to bend my will within my own dream state you know, I really had it with God. But like I said, he let me have my moment, guys. And then I sat with it. I did some research. Um, I started looking at articles and then I was looking at um, thread chats on Reddit where other people have experienced these same type of things as well. And I was also reading on how spiritual rape can actually lead to spiritual death. So then I started reading more into it, reading more into it. And I'm thinking here, Alchemist, if these people's MO here was to make me feel powerless within myself by them forcefully sexually siphoning my energy against my will, then me feeding into it here, you know, and me feeling like I ain't got no power and, you know, all of this, me being in the star out here in reverse, being hopeless and in despair, is then feeding into what they're doing. And when I realised that, that's when, like, a light bulb went in my head. I was like, hey, bingo. This is what God wanted me to see. It's a bittersweet lesson, but the divine puts us through these tests here so we can use our powers and our gifts here to awaken to these things so that we can better learn how to protect ourselves moving forward. So I was like, okay, okay. All right, God, I got you. I am not powerless. That's what I started saying to myself. Spirit was saying it along with me. If I was truly powerless, these individuals will not be coming to me to sexually siphon my energy, to steal from me. Evidently, they know that I am powerful, which is why they have been coming to my land to steal my harvest. So, you know, it's like a reverse psychology. Them doing what they're doing will make you feel powerless because of what they're doing to you. But then you have to remind yourself you are actually powerful that's why they are doing what they're doing to you. Does it make what they're doing to you right to fuck no? Hell no. And they are going to definitely pay. A lot of them are paying now. And I feel like, if anything, this could even be why they're doing these attacks even more. Because a lot of them are going through financial debt here. And whereas in the past, these people may have been getting away with doing what they were doing when you were unawakened and didn't know about what these people were doing and how they were sexually siphoning or pulling off your energy. In many different ways but whereas you're now more awakened alchemist and you're tapping and trusting more in your gifts and abilities you see exactly what's going on and it's only creating chaos for these people and not the results that they were expecting to see see so when i had that moment i said okay but all right all right i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry all right this makes sense so what do i do now as an alchemist that negative energy they're trying to swap to me i'm going to take that energy here alchemist and i'm going to transmute it so do you know what i decided to do i said to myself and i said it with conviction after i claimed sovereignty and dominion over my vessel and i did my cleansing and my saging of my home i said to myself if any given stage these individuals try to cipher my energy they will only manifest chaos within their life and i have the power to authorize that because it's my energy that they're trying to take so if the energy you're trying to take and you think you're going to receive abundance for it, I can cancel it out because it's my energy and I have power over it. And I say you will receive chaos. And let it be so. And she, and I was like, okay, well, slap me slap me a dildo and call me a stick. Because that's right. <laughs> that's right. The fuck you for? Oh, I'm convinced. I was like, yes. And I know my, my ancestors are there clapping. Yes. <laughs> she passed the test again. Because the, the the results of this alchemist is they want you to feel so weak. That's that's the whole point of what they're doing here. 
And if what they were doing was truly working, because I remember years ago when I was going through these attacks and I didn't know, I was waking up with like scratches and bruises around my body. That's how much forceful it was back then. But now I'm at a stage where, you know, just after it has happened, I can wake up or sometimes just before it's about to happen, I do wake up. It's a bit of hit and miss. So it's like I'm realizing that my gifts and abilities have strengthened from when I was unawakened to what was happening to where I am more awakened now. And even about a week ago, I was just about dozing off and I spiritually saw some guy literally about to sit right beside my bed and my eyes shot wide open. I think that's the day I did the, the two hour read, the 3 a.m. read. It's it's really been a shit show here after my sign. Gonna lie, these people have been going wild and crazy. But if what they were doing was working, I'd be confined to my bed. If anything, I've had more energy. So that's how I know them trying to take from my energy to have me feel, you know, confined and restricted isn't working. And yeah, shit really going good for me anyway, Alchemist. So I want you to take what I've just said and just try and apply that to your life, guys. They want you to feel powerless within yourself. You have to understand that you are powerful. Hence why this is what they're doing. So learn how to take your power back and use your power here to protect yourself. And these people are not going to get away with everything that they're doing here. They've already broke enough spiritual laws as it is. So yeah, it is where it is. And for some of you, just leaving me deep in your family that's been doing this weird shit. Yeah, justice. The devil out here in reverse, alchemist, four of wands, families, right on top of the pentacles. You see it? Well, this could be a couple or this could be people in your family here. People here working together, celebrations. I do feel like in the past, these people did celebrate of them receiving off your energy. Least little do they know, they're still going to have to pay for everything that they stole. Mm-hmm. Lies being exposed to a sword out here in reverse alchemist. Hmm. Give me some energy here, please, spirit. Nine of Pentacles here, Alchemist, right next to the chariot. That's your abundance coming through. The abundance which is you. Yeah. I don't know what these people really thought. The worst is over. And I feel like it's just been like a season of test here, Alchemist. Like I'm <laughs> It's been a it's been a major showdown. <laughs> Yo, it's been a major showdown for real. Have you realized these last flipping months and everything is like lessons after lessons, activations after activation, upgrades after upgrades. Everything has been going so fast. Like you barely even have a moment to flip and breathe before you know it. There's another lesson there for you to learn. But yeah, it's it's all necessary and it's all needed. Just like I said in the, my last reading, these lessons that you are going through were needed so that you could receive your blessings. And your blessings are coming through here, Alchemist, because you better know now how to protect yourself, how to protect your energy. You know that you are now sacred, you are divine. Maybe in the past you wasn't really tru truly understanding and aware of who you were and your energy. So you're more freely to give your energy away to people, false lovers here or being around the wrong people, energy vampires, people who just wanted to take from you. But now, Alchemist, I feel like you're someone who's very guarded and defensive and protective over your energy. You know that you are truly sacred and divine and you carry yourself as such. That's right. And I feel like that was one of the lessons you were needing to learn. Another lesson was you learning how to protect yourself. You using your gifts and abilities here, alchemizing negative energy. Mm-hmm. Four of swords out here in reverse, alchemist. Healing, rejoining the world, coming out of isolation. It's time, alchemist. Yeah. The battle that you were going through in this arena, you've come through it. Your ancestors are meeting you on the other end. They said it's time. It's time for you to go through those doors. Your new beginning is here. The next level. Basically, it's like you beat the Joker here, Alchemist. Yeah. 
we got the emperor out here in reverse abuse of power for some of you this could be a father figure or someone you have a child with that's been doing this here pulling off your energy this person could have been could have been working with the a feminine that they're attached to or for some of you if this is a father figure here this could be someone that's been working with a mother figure So this four of ones here could be some type of community, some type of coven here. Yeah, moon card out there in reverse, alchemist. Right on top of the devil. Illusions. See through the veil. Unveiling secrets. So you remember how I mentioned earlier on, guys? About them cloaking themselves, five of cups. So them hiding, them shape-shifting themselves in the dream state when they come to you. So maybe for many years, you probably didn't even know that this is what was happening to you. You probably just thought you were having for some what they would call wet dreams. But these were serious spiritual attacks that was going on. Because for some of you, yeah, we have gone through our unwakened state. unveiling secrets you seen through the veil you seen through these people even though they were trying to cloak themselves yeah you seen through their illusions their secrets that they were trying to sacrifice you that they've been stealing from you yeah what else please spirit Four of Pentacles out here in reverse alchemist. Someone's holding on to your energy way too tightly. People you have let go of, but people who are refusing to let you go. And I truly feel like alchemist, this is because these people have been very much used to using you here as a, a feeding supply. Yeah, like I said before, like an ATM. They've been so used to pulling from your energy. Sadly, for some of you, this is people in your family, they've been doing this to you since you were a child. They've been so used to claiming and receiving off your energy here willingly and freely, but forcefully because they've been bending your will to take away from you here. That now that you're maturing, you're growing up here, you're taking your power back and things are no longer going in their favour. The means in which they were once attaining all these false abundance here, they can only do. And it's putting these people in a major daze. Almost like the last message, you're very frustrated. Like, I don't know, yo. <laughs> Imagine going to the the gas station, you always getting free gas for, for many years. Nobody ever said nothing to you. You just put the, the gas thing in, you drive off. And all of a sudden, you get to the gas machine, and then, you know, there's even a, a, a padlock there. So you can't even take the thing off the, the latch. <laughs> Unless you, you have to pay. No, fuck it, yo. Let me say that again. And then a couple years later, you get there, there's a padlock there, and not only that, there's a whole debt. Oh, see, the numbers is, is so wild. <laughs> the numbers are so wild, yo. There's, there's a whole debt. From all the times that you filled up, from all the years you were taken from the gas station, and then you weren't paying shit. Yeah. And you try to make a breakthrough, you try to run from it, and guess what? Now you're all surrounded. Mm hmm That's what's happening. It's a stick up, stick them up. <laughs> it's a stick up, yo. It, no, you know what? This is a stick up. Your ancestors are sticking them up for real, Alchemist. They caught them red handed. Yeah. They, they made sure to put super glue on the, on the handle there too. So now their hand is stuck to it. Everyone can see it's them. Even if, no matter how much they try to cloak their energy, they've been seen. Yeah. Wow, Alchemist. We got the six of cups out here in reverse. The magician. So for some of you, this is definitely family. Justice out here in reverse, a lot of corruption, miscarriage of justice. Hmm. Six of ones here, Alchemist, success and victory, and we got eight of ones out there in reverse. Opposition and theft here, 
restriction, returning from travel. Hmm. I feel like these individuals here could have traveled overseas here to consult in some type of practitioner or dark high priestess on how they could acquire the power to be able to tap into your dream state so freely. Some, it's like they were given some type of access here, some type of portal that they would be able to easily, easily trace you here within the dream state so that they'd be able to do this here on a frequent basis. Because I counted, guys, this has been going on for like, well, for me personally, guys, I'm not sure here how it's been like for you. Is They're doing this on a two-week interval. Like every two weeks, I, I feel that very same energy. And another thing that I was also making note of as I was doing my research, guys, is what energy do I feel around me just before this attack happens within my dream state? Because there's always like specific signs that I possibly weren't looking at before that happens just before these type of attacks happen to me in my dream state. So now that I'm realizing and awakening more to the signs around me, I can know better decipher, okay, I know they're about to do this in the dream state. I know what to do to protect myself this night. Because, you know, this should be messed up. And you know what's crazy, Alchemist? Was it... A few days ago, I think I watched the American Dad episode about Steve and he was able to lucid dream and freely. Every time he saw a red ball pass him, bounce um, around him, he would know that in that moment in his dream, he's able to maneuver and do anything. Like he could say anything to anyone in the dream state and they would do it. Like he was able to control his dreams. And that's where I was getting this download from. This is what these people have been doing. So, definitely picking up the energy of someone who's been meditating a lot. But meditating darkness, like when they, they're in deep state of meditation, thinking about you, thinking about all the sexual things that they will do to you, and they have some type of picture of you around them. Or I'm also picking up, sorry, sorry y'all, some of these people, this is a math and this person could be so <laughs> over your image, okay? And, you know, when they, like, reach climate, then they, like, use that energy to manifest whatever it is that they want for you or to happen to you. This has been going on for a while, you know. It, it really has, for me personally, it really does fucking piss me off. Let me hear my call. But, yeah. We have a lot of creeps in this world, Alchemist, as you already know. You already know. Ace of Wands here, Alchemist. Anyway, new beginnings ahead. These creeps ain't getting away with this. Take your power back here, Alchemist. Good things are coming in for you. Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. The Fool card, Alchemist. New beginnings. You even withstanding these attacks here, Alchemist, I'm telling you, your ancestors are cheering you on. Because when I think about this in deep retrospect, and I feel like one of the reasons I even got so mad and angry is because of like even feeling the pain of my ancestors who had gone through the same thing physically, them physically being assaulted here, people taking advantage of them, people having their way with them, things being stripped away from them, you know, them losing their voice, them losing their abilities to speak them crying out for help and nobody listening so you know it's like almost the same thing happening to me in that moment but i needed to realize and awaken to my power truly you know rather than cowering down and feeling weak because in a way in a way that's what these people's motive were to make me feel weak you know i'm not to say oh alchemist my ancestors stand up for me all the time i need to stand up now for my ancestors we ain't that weak individual we were then not to say we were weak, but at some stage in our life, when things were done forcefully, we were powerless. Now I have the power within me. I'm going to use that power to speak up and I'm going to use that power to stand up. And I'm going to take my power back. It is fucking frustrating. I ain't going to lie to you. I, <laughs> I don't know how vulnerable I can be if I go on YouTube to fucking the one time to be I'm telling you, I started wishing the worst on this motherfucker, the, the person that was fucking doing shit to me in my dreams, that I was wishing the worst on him. Like, I, was, I straight up saying to God, you know, fuck it, like, 
what's the point of this motherfucker being around if this this is all he's gonna fucking do? Like, just fucking take him. Like, I, I swear, I'm. So, I'm so, I just have to keep it real. Cause it's like, nah. If you're just gonna live your whole life being a fucking chaotic being, you might as well just go, bro. Just, just go. You know. Obviously, I, I didn't say that. I was straight up just saying the right word. Like, just go, bro. You're just you're wasting. You're a waste of existence. All you know how to do is steal from people. And this even goes so deeply into this alchemist. I don't know if I want to do a separate reading for this, but I'll give you some energy on what I touched based on, on the channeling that I pulled when I was doing my research on this spiritual rape. This masculine that has been doing this to me so far, for some of you, this could be ex-lovers. For me personally, I do have ex-lovers who have been doing this, but the main culprit in this is my mum's husband he's been doing this to me since i was a child and when i was 14 he did sexually abuse me and i believe this is when he attached some type of cord to me i've done a lot of cord cutting rituals i've been in my healing and i've just been doing so much to get this this motherfucker really off my back and the way he's just been consistently at it i don't feel no remorse for this 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 man anything that happens to him i really just don't give a fuck because i feel like internally he has taken so much from me and he won't stop until he's basically, you know, dead and gone. So when I was telling him off the energy alchemist, I was realizing my spirit team has since cleared this man from my energy. He's been warned several times to stop what he's doing. Do you know where he's been attaining all the power to, to tap into my dream state? It's not just from confiding in practitioners and dark high priestesses. He's been sexually siphoning the energy of other children. And these are children even younger than me. Those who are still unawakened. And he's using those energies here to basically forcefully tap back into my energy. This is how he's been cloaking himself, masking himself in other people's energies. So it almost was at some stage, I felt like I was fighting a losing battle because I'm thinking, how the fuck do I fight this flipping devil if he's still doing the same thing he did to me to other people and knows other people he's doing it to or has done it to, they don't even know how to awaken to it yet. It's just like a it's like a never ending cycle and it really did make me mad. But the difference always starts at some stage and I feel like me even making enough progress to realise what his game was and how he's been acquiring his power is enough for me. All I need to do is transmute whatever negative energy he's been trying to transfer onto me. And sadly the alchemist, I do share the same birthday as my the man that sexually abused me, my mum's husband. So I know he's also been trying to use this to switch out his destiny and my destiny. This is something he's been doing for many years. I've, I've ticked up on this warlock. I know who exactly who he is and the entity that runs within him. And I ain't afraid of him. It is really frustrating having to heal from things you've gone through as a child. And in that same treacherous, disgusting individual do the same thing to you in your adulthood. And this time doing it spiritually. Like it, it's a different thing it's one thing to you know have your flesh be affected when someone does that act to you physically but it's a whole different level when it's done spiritually and it's done consistently and consistently and consistently it really does f with you you know so i definitely don't give no f's what happens to this man i know eclipse season is upon us and you know all those people who have enabled these things to happen and those who have participated in it they know i ain't got no remorse for them because healing from sexual abuses is not a joke. This is a lifetime thing. It, it shatters people to it to their cores. And then to have it done to them spiritually, that's a whole different ball game. It made me really realise that this man has never or has never been remorseful for what he's done. Never. And I see his game and I realise his MO. This has all been about abundance to him. This has all been about him trying to acquire my spiritual and physical inheritance. Like this this man is flipping what's that guy that conquered the what's the guy that went around conquering different um planets that so not planets alchemists continents that already William the conqueror is it William the Conqueror? This is what this motherfucker is. You wanna go around conquering places that are already inhabited. He ain't got no respect for anybody's home or anybody's vessels. He is literally the walking fucking devil. Yeah? And in the end, motherfucking William the Conqueror died. And all those other countries, well, slowly by slowly, they're taking their countries back. I still feel like they've got a lot of work to do, though. 
You know, a lot of countries have their independence, but they ain't truly free. A lot of countries are still oppressed. I ain't gonna lie, I'm just keeping it real. A lot of countries are still very much oppressed and they're failing to realise that. But this is, this is where it is, people wanting to conquer people so badly and take things from their land, take things that don't even belong to them and acquire it and keep it for themselves. That's exactly what these people have been doing for many years of your energy. And it ends now. You really, truly have to awaken yourself. This isn't, and I feel like this isn't just for us, Alchemist, this is for our ancestors. All the things that were stolen from us, we, we must return them back. I don't know, guys, I don't know if you feel like that's like a, a mission that's going to be <laughs> fulfilled in the next 10 years or so. Because that's been in the back of my mind. I feel like that's one of my purpose too. Things need to, we need to create some type of petitions for our riches to be returned back to our lands. Because you can't just go around taking things that don't belong to you and then claiming ownership of it, claiming governance over it, acquiring riches and wealth of, of it. Yeah. Me awakening to things that's been happening in my personal life has been able to allow me to awaken, to awaken to things that are happening on a global scale. And I feel like everything's just coming around full circle, Alchemist. Success and victory. Will of fortune, a fated event, the end goal is still going to be the same. Destruction and chaos for those who are damned. Yeah. It's a one to be beginning, okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. Six of swords, alchemist, trouble coming out. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Mm-hmm. The answer's ain't playing no games with this one. Wow, I commence eight of swords out here in reverse. Finding solutions, taking control. Ten of ones out here in reverse. You taking control of your power and your energy back, escaping, freedom, releasing yourself from the binds here and chains. You awakening to something that these people are trying to blind you from has broken these binds and chains here. Because this person is definitely trying to keep some type of cord attached to you so that they can continue siphoning your energy at any given will. And no, this cord has been snapped. And every time this cord gets snapped, they try to retach it, retach it through new rituals, retach it through new options, new ventures. Yeah, they've exhausted all avenues. And they're, they're, I'm telling you, these people are going to have hell to pay. Ten of one, some of them has resigned to their fate. Yeah, these people will not be celebrating. They will be mourning, they will be grieving, they will be lost. There will be turmoil and chaos. Yeah, there will be no freedom, there will be no light for what these people have done to you. Yeah, so, so, Sodom and Gomorrah alchemists for Karmiko and Karmika. Let me get this card that fell on the floor. Of the house here, Alchemist. Sodom and Gomorrah is falling down. A house that's fallen apart. We've got a mature man. Someone trying to keep their home together here using your energy. Yeah, you're a bum scum. Someone here could even be holding a home away from someone. Four of Pentacles, someone holding something as a possession. Something that belongs to you here. For some of you, this could be some type of a, a state. An inheritance could also be significant and trust funds. Can we use some energy here, please, for it. Someone keeping tabs here on someone's home. So it's like someone trying to keep your routine here, patterned down, trying to find out what you do, when you do, where you are. Yeah, family room around top of the magician here, alchemist. A whole family here. Yeah. Wait, these people, I don't, I don't know. People just be thinking life is all shits and giggles. Like they were really going to have to pay no repercussions for all this shit that they've been doing here on with their time on this round. And for how long they've been doing it. Yeah, that's the false protection that the devil gives you to make you think you're going to get away with all this shit now. The end goal is loss of life, loss of freedom, loss of everything. Sometimes it's also loss of sanity. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. These people have truly doomed their whole bloodline for eternity. 
all because of their greed here. Unexpected income out here in reverse, Alchemist. They will not be receiving anything anymore. This is coming to an end. They've been caught, adjudication. They're under judgment. Yeah, we've got a message out here in reverse, Alchemist. You see, you can know this. And I feel like, you know why I feel like they've been doing this more, Alchemist, is because things are not going in their favour. So they feel like if we keep trying something, maybe something will, 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 will give, you know, will get something. But they're just still taking losses. They're still taking losses. But because they're so, it's like crackheads. They're just so used to what they, they're, they're used to. They're so used to receiving abundance. It's like, how is this no longer working for, for us? Well, for one, the person you've been doing it to has awoken. How are you going to willingly cross over to someone's land and they see you and you think we're just going to consistently let you get away with this? Like, we see what you're doing. You just expose yourself consistently and consistently. You can't hide from what you have been doing. Yeah, I can be shame the motherfucking devil. We got cool house here. Main mail out here in reverse. But some of you could be an ex lover here. Adjudication. Karmika and Karmika under judgment. Someone here also going to court here behind the home. Occupation out here in reverse. Someone who could have recently lost their occupation. This could be why someone's trying to manifest off your energy or sexually siphon your energy. So I'm also picking up people trying to do love spells here. Very fucking cringe. Marriage couple out here. So for some of you, this could be a marriage couple. Bad health. Hmm. I'm also hearing I'm picking up someone who has six months here to live. So someone could have recently been diagnosed here with cancer. This person here is bedridden, you know? I haven't been on this realm long enough here, Alchemist, but spiritually I've been alive for a very long time, but in my very sh short time in existence here in this realm, you know, tapping into these common synergy, it's like I, I just wouldn't believe people truly do think like this, but they do, you know, they do. Their mentalities is enough to drive a normal person insane, you know? When I was telling a couple of days ago and I was getting that someone here has six months to live, I'm picking up someone here is trying to sexually siphon someone's energy so that they can use that person's energy to give them more time to stay alive. And this person is only doing this to a divine being but doing this to other people here, attaching as many cords as they can to so many different people to use this to stay alive. All this person knows how to do is take from people, take people's energy, uses people's energy. This is nothing but like a, a spiritual leech. Like, for real, Alchemist, this is just a leech. Yeah. This person's gonna die a very painful death. I'm sorry to play as blunt as that, but that's, that's that. A very painful death. Yeah, we got a false person out here in reverse, Alchemist on top of justice out there in reverse. Corruption, injustice. What else is there? We got community out here in reverse under judgment. A lot of corruption, a lot of injustice is here. A lot of corruption and injustice here that was done to a child. Alchemist, for some of you, you are this child that a lot of injustices were done to. People taking advantage of you here since you were a child, attaching cords to you since you were a child, having their way with you since you were a child here, all because they wanted to be greedy. Because they were willingly here, ready to participate and sacrifice in you. And now that you're standing not here, they can no longer take this shift. But I mean, this shift is coming either way. This is a fated, a fated event here, Alchemist Will of Fortune. All you needed to do was awaken to yourself and your power and get on your path here and realise exactly who you are and what was happening around you and let the divine do the rest. And I know it has been hard, guys. It really has been. Your strength is unmatched and so is your resilience. Okay, so keep on going. Mm -mm. 
Let's get these three cards out up in this. We'll tap into the special fix and we'll get into the next lesson. What else from that alchemist need to know, please, spirit? Look at that alchemist. That's right. Strength. You have in your strength. You are this pillar. You're a pillar of strength here, alchemist. You trust in your intuition, being tapped into your consciousness, because these people are definitely trying to disconnect you from your consciousness here by trying to make you feel powerless. You are the power source. Yeah. Wow, y'all. We've got disruption. Round top of family room. Unexpected income. on the sex magic. And karmiko and karmika. People trying to create some type of disruption for you. These people here are being disrupted. Yeah. Their flow has been disrupted. And they're still trying it because in their mind, they're warped and twisted mind. They still believe they're going to receive something from this. Oh, no. You're going to hell and then they're going to, there's going to be another layer after hell. And then another layer and so forth and so forth. It will be a never existing timeline for eternity here of chaos upon chaos upon chaos. That is all these people are acquiring for themselves through their own sheer stupidity. And it's no one's fault but their own because they chose to do these treacherous things to you alchemists and to other people. Yeah, these people are leeches. They're walking viruses. We got energy here, Alchemist. Strength here. Your energy here. You're replenishing yourself, rehealing yourself. Your energy is always regenerating. This is what these people are also trying to disrupt by making you feel powerless. By trying to have you down here. No. You've got flow, Alchemist. Your energy cleanses and flows. Yeah. It's like a, like a filter. It filters out all the negativity here. Your, your water still runs clearly. I like this energy here, Alchemist. It should be heavy, I'm not going to lie to you, but... PMP, I don't hold it down. It's so fucking heavy, Alchemist. Sorry y'all, I've got a nice surprise for you at the end of the video. You know, these comics ain't never stopping nothing for us. Never. We've got ideation here, Alchemist. Someone here has received a message that their false ideations here are being exposed. They're no longer working. Yeah, their arrogancy. Them to truly think they were going to consistently get away with what they're doing. Sadness. Lost grief and despair. Yeah, because they're being blocked. Stop. They can no longer get away with this here, Alchemist. Yeah, we've got space here, Alchemist. Space being needed and frustration. So I definitely feel like these people are being blocked out of your energy, blocked out of your space. They have been seen. And I feel like, Alchemist, whenever you sense something is wrong, all right, call it out. Speak to spirit, you know. As soon as this attack happened the other day, Alchemist, I had to say all the archangels' names. I told them to come through. I was, I was rocking back and forth like, yo, please. This has been going on for too long, yo. You know, and within like a few hours, I felt back to myself. I felt normal, like I was seeing things from a higher perspective. I was able to get this research done rather than cowering and staying in a low vibrational energy because that's what they wanted me to be in. They wanted me to be shook if in fear. That's what they wanted. I said, no, no, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, because I even made a little tune, you know. <laughs> oh, my days. We can go to afterwards, but these people definitely frustrated. Yeah. Yeah, happiness out here in reverse, Alchemist. It's sad. Mm -hmm. Mystery here has been illuminated. Something they didn't want you to see. Ghosts out here in reverse, so they were trying to hide and cloak their energy. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, bad health alchemist pain and false person yeah someone will pass a, a very excruciating death for all the sins and the wicked things this person has done in their time on this realm all the pain that they have caused other people here through their selfishness mm -hmm. you know for no more sorry either you get what you fucking give
-hmm. We've got fear out here in reverse. That means it's time for someone to face their fear. The whole world is crashing in on this individual, on this Karmika and Karmika. Sodom and Gomorrah is truly falling down around them. Boulders, rocks, sand in their eyes. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're angry. How are you angry about the chaos you created for yourself? The same chaos you were trying to invoke for another. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we got ghost. Someone really about to get ghost here, Agnes. They're being eclipsed out of your energy. They're being cleansed out of your energy. Peace is coming through here. Your ancestors want you to have peace. They want you to be able to heal. They want you to be able to enjoy your harvest because you have sown good seeds. And these people will no longer be able to take any of your harvest here from you because they haven't sowed any seeds of anything. All these people have sown is seeds of chaos. Yet you're, they've been in your gardens and even other people's gardens taking their harvest here of the peace that they were sowing onto others. You can't do this. And you ain't going to get away with this. If all you have done is created and invoked chaos for someone else's life, how dare you think you're going to be able to live your life all willy-nilly and peaceful? Whilst the person you've been taking for suffers here, hungry, no return on their harvest, all the work that they've been putting in, you think you're just going to come in here and take that here? No. We're going to keep exposing these type of individuals here, Alchemist. They ain't getting away with this shit. We've got passion, adjudication here. Yeah. It is truly my passion to bring judgment upon all these people. It is truly my passion here to see all who have been affected and gone through these things receive their justice. It is truly my passion for all children who have been suffering here, all children who have been taken advantage of to be able to heal from what they've gone through and they receive their justice. That is my passion because no one deserves to go through this, this pain, this shit and then consistently have it done to you, no. Things are changing here, Alchemist. It's a red storm. Yeah, we got growth here, Alchemist. Things are growing for you. And things are changing, things are moving. What else can spread? Mystery out here in reverse, Alchemist. Things are growing, the mystery has been illuminated. You now know the truths. Yeah. Yeah, Alchemist. Be confident. You now know the truth here. Yeah. About this Karmika and Karmika. Yeah. Stop, Alchemist. They're being blocked. They are being blocked. This is about to be a very painful ending for a lot of people here who think this is a joke. They, need, they now need to have their strength. They now need to face their fears. Because the pain that they're about to feel here, the endings that are about to happen into their life and for their bloodlines, ain't nothing to joke around with. Yeah, sadness here after this. Karmika and Karmika. Their sex magic is no longer working. So all you're doing is just accumulating more karma for yourself by still trying to sexually siphon someone else's energy. Isolation out here in reverse, Alchemist. I feel like this is you coming out of isolation. Someone here wanted you to be hidden. Yeah, magic, right on top of ideation. So I feel like just as these people were trying to cloak themselves to hide what they were doing to you, they were also trying to cloak your energy here so people would look at you a certain type of way, so that you would be isolated, so people wouldn't be around you, people wouldn't, wouldn't want to work, work with you here, or people would see you a certain type of way, so you wouldn't feel confident about yourself, so things wouldn't move for you, things wouldn't grow for you, and this all fading away. Yeah. we got flow here, Alchemist. Things are flowing.
Wow. Alchemist, we got death and intuition both out here in reverse. Someone here was trying to put a death to your intuition, not wanting you to see something clearly here. And this is these individuals here being blocked. And if this is people here who had any form of spiritual gifts or abilities and they were choosing to abuse it here to try and tap into your energy falsely, these people are losing their gifts. Yeah. These people no longer will be able to scry and divinate into your life here or however they were watching you here with whatever monitoring spirits they were trying to monitor you with. I kid you not, Alchemist. I don't know if it's a swimmer. Before I started this reading, a moth flew right into my candle here. And usually moths, for me, signify people in my energy here trying to tap into my energy. Flew right into the fire. Now it's all cemented there in wax. Very significant. Hmm. Let's get a few oracle cards after this and then we'll get these specifics and we'll close this reading up. We got Angel de los Muertos. Transitions to the spirit realm. Yeah, Alchemist, these people have been seen. Everything that they have been doing to you here, it hasn't gone unnoticed. And I know you have struggled. I know you have suffered. And I know this has been hard, guys. You are a warrior. Please never forget this. You are a survivor and you are nobody's victim. These people can only try and do all these petty, ridiculous things that they've been doing to try to victimize you and make you feel small and powerless. But when you realise that that's their end goal, don't feed into it. Override it. Okay? Take your power and your energy back. And make these people truly be what they are, which is powerless. Because they ain't got that power. You do. That's why they keep coming to you to take from you. Alright? Never forget that. All of these things these people have done here has been transitioned to the spirit realm. They ain't getting away with none of this. Yeah, Alchemist, it's cleanup time. A lot of people about to get goals. This is, you know, motherfucker, we even use a drug, Alchemist. If not, within the next few months, a year or so, you're about to see a lot of people you once knew no longer here no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guidance, but where will it lead you? All these people spend their time doing here on this realm, invoking all this chaos, stealing and taking from other people, invoke and creating drama here. The list goes on, y'all. The list goes on. And not just what they did to you in this lifetime, but what they've done to you in previous lifetimes. Guidance, but where will it lead you? Reincarnated to redeem yourself, but instead, re um, instead doomed yourself. It's what these people doing right here in this lifetime and truly wanted to make better for themselves. They wanted to continue. Yeah, cue the fucking distractions. You see, they don't want to hear it. Instead of these people doing right in this lifetime, they wanted to continue the cycles here of the things they were doing in previous lifetimes, going around sacrificing people all willy-nilly. No. Things can no longer continue like this. It's a collapse of old ways. Yeah. Sodom and Gomorrah is truly falling down. Storm angel, collision of beliefs here. Your, really, your ancestors are really coming through with the storm here, Alchemist. Yeah, the natural world needs you. You ain't going anywhere for anyone. These people will not be able to sacrifice you. They never was. You have a sole mission and a sole purpose here, Alchemist. Let your passions in this lifetime guide you. If your passion is to assist and help others, assist and help others. If your passion is to guide others, guide others. If your passion is to write, write. If your passion is to sing, sing. The natural world needs you. All right? So be true to who you truly are, Alchemist. You deserve to be here. And I'm glad that you are, because this is really beautiful energy, guys. I hope you never ever feel small within yourself or feel like life isn't worth living. I know how hard it can be, guys. I know how hard it can be. And maybe at some stage in your life, you once did have that mentality, you know, that you'll just, you know, leave it and, and let it all go. Because you just felt like at that stage in your life, life truly wasn't worth living. But when you truly realise that you have so much in store for you here, 
Trust me, Alchemist. I'm so grateful that you are still here. I'm so grateful that you held on. And I want you to know that good things will come into your life. Good things do come to those who wait. And good things definitely do come to those who are great. And you are amazing. <laughs> You're amazing, Alchemist. The natural world needs you. Keep on going, okay? Oh, let me get these cards. Even the cards are excited, y'all. <laughs> He's very, very excited. Yeah, I can miss magical space cleaning time. A lot of things are being cleared out of your space. Ghost energy. Mm -hmm. You've got count your blessings. Something about Halloween, y'all. Something being cleared by Halloween or the 30th could also be significant. Yeah, I miss. Sea storm. Incoming storm morning. Come, Mr. Chaos. Mm -hmm. We got working too hard, right under sex magic. This Carmico and Carmica, this couple, this community, these individuals have been working overtime consistently with no results. Yeah, and they're about to receive the interest they never expected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got Lantern Fairy Alchemist, a clear solution. Your ancestors here seeing a clear solution. We've got the three fates. What comes around, goes around. What these people have been putting out here is now coming back to them. They're about to take the most major losses of their life, the most painful endings of their life for everything they've taken away from you. I kid you not, Alchemist. Yeah, holding on way too tight, all right? Your answer says, okay, cool. You're refusing to let this person go after you told you several times to stop this. It's a done deal. You're gonna feel something you never expected yourself to feel and trust me, ain't gonna be pretty. Transition to the spirit realm, Alchemist. Your ancestors and the divine know exactly what these individuals have been doing to you and they are not getting away with this. They are sick and twisted individuals who definitely need help. They do. Yeah, we got Aloha Healing Alchemist that fell on the floor. Continue healing yourself, Alchemist. I know it hasn't been easy, all right? But the work that you're putting in isn't going unnoticed by the divine as well. They see your strength and they see your resilience. And they want you to keep pushing through, okay? What else we start? Alright, Alchemist, we've got British there. Oh wait, oh wait, something is changing in your life or something's about to change in your life. Reincarnated to redeem themselves but instead doom themselves. We've got Auntie. Eight oh eight Alchemist connect with the divine. We've got works from home. African. Six 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 realign your thoughts. And we've got seven eleven, fresh start. We've got passed over, three two one, a new path begins. Ticking time bomb and 1616, rapid growth and changes ahead, Alchemist. We got angel numbers, look out for the signs and synchronicities. We got long nails, Lexus, smear campaign. We got brown eyes, Portuguese, Lebanese. We got associates of a friend. This could even be like a group of individuals here who do this type of thing together. We've got Asian. 0101 refrain from a situation or scenario where you feel trapped. We've got gin, blue car. Hand tattoo. We've got 1133, good omens ahead. We got ex lava, stolen or hidden assets. We got North, Nigerian, tag team, Kia, Zimbabwe, East African, and 7 7 Alchemist. You're on the right path towards spiritual growth and fulfillment of your life's purpose. 
We've got Ghanaian. We've got Caribbean. South African. We've got 999 Alchemist. Release what no longer serves you. Immigrant. Must atone for their sins. Illegal status. Eleven, eleven, alignment with the divine. We've got braids or twist. Thirty-eight, thirty-eight, alchemist. Utilize your abilities. We've got sudden fatality. Eight, 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 abundance is at your gate. We've got French. Someone between the ages of forty-five to fifty-nine. Nine or nine. Be more selfless. They will reap what they sold against you. We've got neck tattoo. Subaru. Fiance or fiancé, we got grandparent, silver car, space grey car, we got European, BMW, and the patriarch. Father or father figure. We got Congolese, military backgrounds, Mazda. Someone in their 80s or their late 90s, we've got mid 30s here. Facing judgment, accumulated karma. We've got Vauxhall, 1313, welcome and growth. We've got East, in your area codes. We've got Cousin, well, for some of you, excuse me, be a cousin that's been doing sex magic, sex rituals on you, trying to sexually siphon your energy. So this could be a cousin that's been thinking about you sexually here. Yeah, definitely someone who's got a lot of demons on them. You've got your reality is your own and what you make of it. We've got 2244. Someone needs to reevaluate their path. 333 Alchemist, your angels and guides are with you. 0202, chase your dreams. And 787, be aware of the energy around you. And also be aware of the energy around you in your dream state. Okay? We've got lights, plants. Caucasian descent and South. 1818 Alchemist, you're going for a major advancement. We've got in laws, beautician, and tinted windows. Their fate was sealed when they made the contract. We've got a stepbrother, hazel eyes. We've got tongue piercing, unemployed. Morning, morning, y'all. 1188, grasped every opportunity. We've got the matriarch, a mother or mother figure. Mixed breed, IT engineer. One second, guys, I'm sure there's a car that just fell. we got West. IT engineer, one four two. Have faith in your abilities. We got Volkswagen. Nineteen nineteen. What goes up must come down. Alchemist, you are the cycle breaker. We got Target, Ford, and twelve twelve. Contentment within life. Alchemist. Well, your yeah, answer don't even worry. Confirmation alchemist, your answer says don't even worry. You about to be very content with their life. And that's how the storm coming in. <laughs> that's how it's coming in, y'all. Or oh, you want a showdown in your hometown. I see that's how things are about to go down. Cause what the fuck that bitch ass nigga for? What the fuck that bitch ass nigga for? Oh, you think he's slick? Like a pimp. <laughs> I don't know what these people fool, but they're about to get it. We got money hungry. Virgo, you could be a Virgo. This is a Virgo here. That's money hungry alchemist. We got right way. Open your mind. We got well known. Leave the past behind. Social media stalker. So some of these people could be watching you on social media or trying to track you on social media, keeping tabs on you on social media. They could be screenshotting, um, screenshotting your images here on social media and then using these 
pictures that they're getting of you in their rituals. Yeah, we've got to make a decision here, Alchemist. Initial Z, you or D, first, middle or last. And we've got regret. A social media stalker here is in regret. And we've got to seek help. Victory is ahead, Alchemist. We've got Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius or just a Sagittarius here in regret. We've got catfish here, someone watching you from behind the scenes from a fake page. We've got deceitful, gray eyes. We've got sleeve tattoo. I don't even know supposed to be in here, but yeah. Wow. We've got breaking news here, Alchemist. Gemini. Could be a Gemini here who's been doing a lot of sex magic. Social media stalker. This could be someone who's well known. Or a lot of people know of this individual. We've got alter documents. We got initials N O or Y, first middle or last, and past coming back. Right on time. Damn, all these cards fell on the floor, Alchemist. We got initials V, Q, and X, first middle or last. Give me one more. We got C, the truth. We got coming out. Something about alter documents are coming out. Well, this catfish here, this could be someone who was signing off on a document that didn't belong to them here. False signature. Pull up on you. Well, this is the past coming back to catch up to someone. The past is pulling up on someone now. We've got fake friends, alchemists, and danger ahead. You've seen the truth here about fake friends here too for so damn. But some of you just could even be a, a friend here that could be sexually siphoning your energy or has some type of lustful thoughts about you. And this could even be a feminine, you know, if you're feminine too. Yeah. We don't swim that way. We got secrets. The secret has been revealed, Alchemist, about the sex magic, sex rituals these people have been doing. Shawty swing my way. You got be humble on top of fake friends here. So I don't know if this is fake friends here who are trying to humble you or these are fake friends that need to be humble, evidently. We got treat yourself better. We got walk away here, Alchemist. Two, 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 you're in your life path alignment and we got money coming. Yeah, you and your life path out you're getting your gifts, you're getting your blessings because you're learning your lessons. Mm -hmm. New day, new slay. We've got Pisces here, Alchemist. And I ain't finna let nothing get in my way. Because what the fuck that bitch ass nigga fault? What the fuck that bitch ass nigga fault? Oh, you think you slick? <laughs> oh, my days. You got Pisces, Alchemist. You could be a Pisces. This is a Pisces that's involved in this. Feeling stuck. Balance. Balance is coming out. Balance is being restored. Our commissary says treat yourself better. Yeah. We got cancer here. So you guys could be a cancer. There's a can cancer involved in this. Or someone here could have eaten. Eat, someone could have even recently been diagnosed with cancer. Damn. They didn't want that to come out. So someone could even be hiding a, a cancer diagnosis here from their family. Because in their mind, they, they truly believe here. They're going to be able to get some type of sacrifice that's going to keep them alive. Yeah. But someone definitely needs to pray. We got mental health alchemists. Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius here or this is an Aquarius here that needs a mental health check. Watching from a fake page. The secrets have been revealed. Yeah, they've definitely been watching you from a fake page here. Alchemist. Let's have Leo at the back of the deck. You could be a Leo here, or this is a Leo. Watching you behind the scenes from a fake page. You got joke. This could be someone here who thought you were a joke. Likewise, you got depressed, slow start, stressed, 
and new love on the horizon. You got an argument here, Alchemist. Someone trying to start an argument with you, or this could be people arguing behind the scenes because things ain't working for them. Yeah, we got repeated cycles. Someone here who's stuck in repeated cycles, and we got jealous. Someone here watching you behind the fake page, you're jealous, sending you a lot of evil eye energy. Yeah. Maybe we got speeding here, Alchemist. Breaking news, some type of news could be speeding towards you. Right, we've got meditate, separation, we've got romantic offer, watching all your moves, wow, watching from a fake page, watching all your moves, it's another obsessed one, Alchemist, why are you so obsessed with me, with me, well, because they went, and someone may even be in love with you, I mean, let's not even call this love. This ain't love. This is obsession. That's that's fair as that. <laughs> it's obsession. We got overwhelmed, darkness, low back. Someone needing to recharge himself and reflect. We got breakup. Lost. Someone feeling lost after a breakup here. Spirit says, chase your dreams, alchemist, and love yourself. That's right. Someone here watching you from a fake page, watching you love yourself. And they hate it. They're jealous, they're mad. They're sad. Are you bad? <laughs> and they're mad. <laughs> 666 alchemist reflect. We got health check up. Somebody went the wrong way. All right, keep healing, alchemist. And we got couple hoodie there. And birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, people have made a lot of unwise choices and they got ghosted. A lot of, a lot of people about to be ghosted out of your energy. We got hidden messages here, Alchemist. There could be hidden messages here discussing some type of sex ritual here, right? From people who are not the light. We got let this go, raise your vibration. Someone here being tactical and strategic. And we got in plain sight here, Alchemist. We got this honest and sexual abuse. Free your mind. Reunion. And 444, Alchemist, you are protected. Someone here trying to reunite with you. Ugh. So, oh, okay. I ain't gonna say any, I ain't gonna tap into it. We got Scorpio there, I think she could be a Scorpio. This is a Scorpio that's inflaming your energy. We got stolen authority. Playing both sides here. You the truth and text messages. We got court case. Backfire. Something here has backfired on this Carmico and Carmica. A sex magic sex ritual has backfired. We're just playing both sides. This could be someone here who goes both ways. So someone here could have even found out that they had contracted something, some type of incurable bad health here. Yes. Okay, it's all the way at the bottom. I ain't gonna get out. We want narcissist here. Incurable bad health. <laughs> that sounds so childish. <laughs> Incurable bad health. That sounded so childish, you know. Someone here could have contracted something here, and maybe someone's found out that they, they don't have that long here to be alive. Well, damn. We got cool case here. Make peace and doubts. Spreading lies and gossiping. We got initials L I O K, first, middle, or last, and be aware. All right. So be aware about someone here who is spreading lies and gossiping, or you are aware of someone who is spreading lies and gossiping, because they are a narcissist and they are bored, alchemist. We got innocent there. We got Leo alchemist, so you could be a Leo. This is a Leo here, spreading lies and gossiping. We've got apology. We've got innocent there, third party, control. 
So here's one of them up to um, power and control over you. We've got fight breaking out, incoming call or messages, alchemist, and we've got initials A, E, or T, first, middle, or last. We've got old news, forgive. Look on the brighter side, alchemist, okay? Things are clearing, alchemist. Things are definitely clearing. We've got I'm sorry. Someone here wants to say I'm sorry. We got crying and the truth will be revealed. We got full illusion, see through the veil. Open your heart, alchemist, and we got undercover. So this could also be what the play in both sides is here as well. Someone being undercover. We got financial stability, toxic mindset. Someone gaining financial stability here by doing sex, um, sex magic, sex rituals. Wow. We got arrested here, Alchemist. Bad intentions. We got remain positive and travel. Deleted. Deleted text messages could be significant. We got pregnant or pregnancy. Oh wow. Or maybe someone deleted a child. Damn. We got tourists there, I've missed. You could be a tourist here. This is a tourist here that's crying. We got Aries. You could be an Aries here. This is an Aries involved in this. Old keys while opening your doors. We got designer. Toxic family. One more mind trust your intuition here, Alchemist, about this toxic family. Yeah, we've got this loyal. In the family, toxic family, this loyal people here in a toxic family, we've got self respect and blocked. People who are being blocked out of your energy. Yeah. It's got us up to you here, Alchemist. I feel like you may have people here who may want to come back into your energy, trying to beg for your forgiveness, coming in all sad. Yeah. You know what they did? We got wants to fight you here. I feel like some people are remorseful, other people are in their ego. We got Libra, you could be a Libra. This is a Libra that wants to fight you. We've got initials R, N, and J, first, middle, or last, Alchemist. Ooh All right, my dear divine beings, let's get a message from your angels and we'll close this message up. Oh, you want a showdown in your hometown? I see that's how things are about to go down. Because what the fuck that bitch ass nigga for? <laughs> we got opportunity happiness and yes, new opportunity coming in for you. Okay, look out for the signs and synchronicities. One path can create many avenues. Success. Alright? You ain't missing out on nothing and no one is going to make you miss out on anything that is meant for you, okay? Let's get one message from your spirit animal. Wow, y'all. This is beautiful energy. Real beautiful. We got bison, alchemist, and abundance. Sacred buffalo. Clock me in your wisdom. Keep me warm and through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. A lot of abundance in this energy here, Alchemist. A new opportunity arises. Okay? And this is really just coincid um, coincidizing with all the energy we had out here, Alchemist. Abundance. You know? You are the main power source. These people can never deplete you. They can never take anything from you. They can... Take stuff, but you're always going to be refilled. You know, continue pouring into yourself. Continue filling yourself in again. Pouring all that love back into yourself, Alchemist. You are the living epitome of abundance. All right. <laughs> he is, guys. Uh, he really is. So, my lovely divine beings, I'm going to leave the message there. I hope this message brought some type of truth and clarity to you and your situation. I'll be back with another message, guys. And like I said, guys, I did have a surprise for you here too. <laughs> <laughs>
So guys, you know how at the beginning of the year I was talking about how I was um, starting a new project here and I'll let you guys know before the end of the month what I was doing. So guys, I have officially, officially, I have officially started my new YouTube channel. Alright guys, I have um, put it in my um, featured channel section on my channel. I'm also going to put it in the community board guys so you can check that out if you do want to the first episode will be airing tomorrow um in the uk that will be around 3 p.m guys so i'm gonna give you guys a quick preview on what it, the show is gonna be like so basically guys it is a crime show i've had a really strong passion here guys for you know cold cases and mysteries and stuff like that and to be able to like speak the stories of people who are no longer here is just, I don't know, it's just something I've been very passionate about. And I feel like, you know, now, now's the time to just start doing it. It has taken me quite a while, guys. I feel like it's been like two and a half weeks um, since I started it. The editing is what took the longest. And I will keep it real, guys. The audio isn't all that great as well. Like, you know when you hear it, if you do watch it, okay? <laughs> So just things that I do need to work on, but for something new, like I'm just really happy that, you know, I was able to get this off because I kept saying to myself, the end of September is my deadline. And you know, guys, I'm not really someone who's quite good at deadlines. Like <laughs> I can drag my feet sometimes when it comes to doing things. So I'm glad I was able to fulfill that guys. So it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could check out my channel. It is called True Crime with Osiris, guys. Like I said, I will link it in my community boards, but you will also see it at the end of the video, guys. I'm definitely gonna put a like a one minute preview there. Okay, so my lovely divine being, we're gonna leave the message there. We're gonna tap into another message in a mojo. Stay strong, guys. Things are definitely shifting, definitely a shift and turning energies. Alright, so just be patient with yourself. I know it does feel like things are moving slow, guys. And sometimes you may feel like you're going back. But sometimes we have to go back, alchemist, in order to go forward. Or sometimes you feel, may feel like you're falling back, alchemist. But look at it as you being lunged forward. Okay? Like the divine is lunging you into your next path, into your next phase. And all the lessons that you're learning from all your experiences that you've gone through, whether it be with family members whether it be with friends or ex-lovers here, all those lessons that you have been learning, you're using these here to better put you now in a good position. For others of you guys, you are going to be called into leading, okay? Using your experiences here, not only to help navigate you through this world, but to help others. You may feel like people don't want to hear anything you have to say or have to say because maybe you've grown up with a lot of people looking down on you or a lot of people trying to shut you down or stop you from speaking your truth here, Alchemist. It's time for you to now regain your power. And Spirit wants you to know that it is safe for you to speak your truth. All right, it is safe for you to be yourself. Those who vibe with you, those who rock with you, those who understand you, those who hear you, those who feel you, they will understand you. They will rock, they, <laughs> they will get you, Alchemist. I mean, your tribe. Not everyone is gonna be acquainted to your energy. And that's fine. That's how we learn to decipher who is for us and who isn't. Not everyone will understand you, but those who do, cherish them and cherish them well, guys. Okay. Well, in a new season where we're just going to be building a lot of relationships, just a lot of good things are coming into our life, guys. And I, I did say as well that I was thinking of starting a um a Discord, a Discord channel, guys, so that we could like communicate, share our ideas, catch up, and stuff like that. You know, just alchemizing alchemist unite <laughs> i might call it that i probably won't alchemist unite just us coming together guys and connecting as a, a soul family you know so yeah that'll probably be a project that i'll start in october but until then guys so my ocd is in right now guys i've started so i can't stop <laughs> so until then guys just keep up the good faith all right so guys, without further ado, I'll probably still be talking and cleaning up, but the video is going to pop up anyway, guys. This is the preview for my 
new show, True Crime of Osiris, and the first, um, um, sorry, the first episode, guys, will be airing tomorrow. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm truly grateful for all of you guys, for all your love and support, and I'm truly grateful for all of those who will be supporting me on my new channel. Hope you guys have a blessed and fantastic day, guys. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. On the afternoon of August 11th, 1998, Rachel Tuff, an 18-year-old teenager from a small town called Concert, was brutally bludgeoned by her neighbour, John Thompson.